Well, some of the parts that may have been uh, worn are these friction pads that attach on the wheels. This one on the right wheel and this one here on the left wheel. And there's also one here on the left wheel. And the function of, of these two are in fact to stop the, the wheels uh, when stopping from uh, fast forwarding or from uh, rewinding. This one here is to apply some friction on this wheel during normal play. Uh, of course the tape will be feeded through the capstan uh, here at a constant speed and you need of course a bit of tension on the tape and that is why this friction pad is here on this wheel. The problem is of course how to get new friction material. It's not uh, that easy. Um, you can take it off uh, quite easily uh, with a knife and, and scrape off uh, all the material there until you're on the blank uh, plastic material. Uh, but then how to get on some new uh, friction layer. Um, it took me uh, a while and then I got hold of, of this. These swaps. Um, these are swaps, a very soft uh, felt like uh, material. It's not really felt but it's re really soft and smooth. And um, well they are about th this thick which is in fact too, too thin uh, for this but I used two layers on top of each other uh, glued together with double sided sticky tape. Um, and after that I applied some graphite powder and uh, rubbed it in. I will now show you in uh, a bit more detail how I exchanged the, the friction liner on the friction pads. Especially this one which I think is uh, the most important one. That's on the, on, on the left wheel. So just with a knife or something else remove the old liner and well it's glued on to that pretty well but it comes off and now you need to scrape all the old glue off until you're on the blank plastic material. Okay, so this is phase one. I will now share with you the method of how to make the friction material. Um, like shown earlier, I use these. Uh, cleaning pads that are meant for cleaning uh, video heads. First thing to do is very gently peel off the yellow layer of the plastic part. So, leave you with this. Next thing is to mount this to a piece of double sided sticky tape. Be sure to wash and dry your hand carefully before doing this so you don't leave any dirt or grease on it. So I'm now going to cut out the excess of the sticky tape. Next thing is to cut this piece in half. So I have 
two equally sized pieces. Now from one of the pieces, peel off the back cover of the sticky tape. mount the two pieces together. So we now have double the thickness. Next thing is to apply the graphite powder. And for that I use another of the swabs that comes in the package and rub in very thoroughly. Don't be too shy with it, just rub in a good amount. And then this is how it looks like. From this piece maybe you need to, to make another one. From this you can cut the pieces you need to go on to the friction devices. Well, isn't this nice? I already uh, peeled off a bit of the back cover of the tape so I can now easily remove that. And then gently apply the friction material. So, okay. I think it's nice.